God, you and me need to sit down because I could show you a way. Your, the scripture says, Who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct or teach him? Well, God, I say this reverently, but I'm going to sit you down and teach you and show you just how you can give universal salvation to every man, boy, woman, girl, and child, gay, straight, bi, lesbian, that nobody need burn forever and ever and ever and ever and ever so that everyone can be saved. Okay, okay, okay. God, it's time to sit you down and teach you a lesson. We'll start this lesson out with that verse in the Psalms. We may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And for some, it might be a long, long, long night. Almost as long as eternity itself. But eternal joy would come in the morning. That would last forever. And they would quickly forget about that long night of court torment. Now, God, you say that nothing is, with you, nothing is impossible. Well, the angel Gabriel, the angel Gabriel said that you didn't, so it might not be true. God, if nothing is impossible with me, then you can save, save the damned. Okay, let me show you, tell you how you can do this. And at the same time, not force men to accept you. Have them, give them their free will, whole, wholesomely, wholly, and not violate their free will. First, Let's get some, uh, uh, nail some things down. Everybody has a breaking point where they will finally, the truth will finally hit them and they'll realize, hey, this is just the way it is. And I have no choice but to get with the program. Also, when you died and shed your blood on that cross, every Man, woman, boy, and girl died on that cross and paid the penalty of sin. And by this, you can, by this, those who accept you are declared absolutely righteous. Not only that, but because Jesus rose from the dead, when you see these people, you do not see them anymore in their sinfulness. You see. This is my beloved son, Jesus, in whom I am well pleased. You see, absolute holiness and righteousness. Well, here's what, here's, here's what you can do. Having died... What's up, brother? Hey, can I have a heaven happy? Huh? Can I have a heaven happy? Half and half? Yes. What? Tea. Tea? We out of food. Damn. We got nothing to drink. Sure. Okay, what you got? I got Coke product, Coke Zero, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, High C Orange, High C Fruit Punch, Diet Coke. Coke. Okay. When you died and shed your blood and rose again, you can you can simply declare that every last human being, past, present, and future. It's righteous. Absolutely righteous. Thank you. I'll finish this video. I'm going to be here. Okay. Absolutely righteous. But to apply it, they have to accept it of their own free will. Because they, you've already declared them righteous when they die, if they haven't accepted it, they go to hell and experience experience the torment until one day like a prodigal son they come to the cells and say uh uh this is death life is where God is at 
I want God. And then you will be waiting there. For some, it might take one day less than an eternity to finally come to themselves. But eventually, everybody has a breaking point. When they are their free will. Would accept you. And, hey, some some say God never forces anybody to get say bullshit. Have you heard some of the testimonies of where God would refuse to let up on somebody until they reached their breaking point and got down and got saved? Why can't you do that for everybody, God? Huh? And God, did you learn something? Maybe you can save everybody after all. <laughs> that is, if you're real, because if you're real, why didn't, why in the hell didn't you think of it first? Why did I have to teach you? That's bullshit. I can't teach God, God if he's real shit. He's the one who teaches me. Suddenly, God booms across the table at me, and I tremble. He says, for by grace are ye saved, through faith. For without faith, it is impossible to please me. And, I sit there thinking about it for, minute, for a minute. Maybe he's got me. But then, I come up with an answer. Well, first and foremost, Paul, the apostle. Was he saved by faith? Oh, no, 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 hell no. He saw the resurrected Christ literally, literally knocking, knocking off his horse. He saw you, which led to him getting saved. The point I'm trying to make is not everybody gets saved by pure faith. Secondly, those who die and go to hell. Yes, there will be different levels of hell, uh, levels of hell. The sin in each individual individual will hold them in hell for as long as they for as for as long as they deserve to be there. And this sin in them will keep them from coming to themselves. But eventually they would come to themselves. Because the Holy Spirit would, if I make my bed in hell, thou art there. The Holy Spirit would be there still. And because in heaven, their bank accounts have already been, their debt, their debt has always been, already been canceled by Jesus' payment of the debt. Once these people came to the, themselves, the Holy Spirit would be there waiting eagerly for them of their free will to accept. And then he would come into their spirits and resurrect them out of hell and take them to heaven and make them sinless. Now, as far as, as the faith element is concerned, Hell, torments of hell, are so exquisite. After being in there so long, you will begin to doubt. You will begin to know there is no God. And it will take faith to once again be able to believe that there is a God, that He is Once you come to yourself, it will take faith to believe that God can save you. That he, he is there to save you. Because all that time in hell will cause you, you to tell, Hitler said, tell the people a lie long enough and they'll believe it. In spite of the fact that he stood before God in judgment and were judged. Once you're in hell long enough, you will begin to believe that 
that was all just your imagination. And even in hell, once you come to yourself to accept God's payment of your debt, it will take faith. So, God, check me. But in closing, the Bible says me, trust in, says me in Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all thy might, and lean not unto thine own understanding. So, that being said, what if I'm wrong? But I think I got a point here. I think I could, I, I think I just taught God a lesson. And if I did, I have to wonder. Is God even real? Because if he if he was real, he would have known this already. And this would and this would be in Scripture, instead of the eternal damnation of the God with whom nothing is impossible, unable to save the damned. And worse yet, if he is able to but unwilling, how dare! call himself good because if he can save the damned from burning forever and it doesn't doesn't to me that's that's what evil and all the atrocities of the Nazis and the Assyrians and Stalin combine together an infinite number of times Man, this song makes me sad. At least I can touch this girl's head. Because she's cute. Ah, ah. The name of this song by Styx, Aku Aku. <laughs> Man, this song makes me sad. At least I can touch this girl's head, because she's cute. Ah, ah. The name of this song by Styx, Aku Aku.